Immigration has brought Jamaica's society into contact with different cultures and ways of thinking, enabling knowledge and cultural exchanges. Today, we hear the story of an immigrant in his own words. His Excellency Sri R. Masakwi, India's High Commissioner to Jamaica, sat down with 93-year-old Ramrag Beef, who regaled him with stories about growing up and raising his family in Jamaica. Carl Francis has more in this report. At 93 years of age, Ram Haraj Raj Beef is a patriarch a repository of experiences. He is one of the oldest living members of the Indian community in Jamaica. During a meeting with the Indian High Commissioner to Jamaica, His Excellency R. Masakwi, Mr. Ragbeef opened the book on the rich historic and cultural life of his family's journey to Jamaica from India in 1907 and his own experiences growing up and raising a family in Jamaica. My father had some friends, eh? and they want the friends and pay, do what, you know what I mean? And they follow them friends and come to Jamaica. And when they come to Jamaica now, they, they, the people who employ them have them different, different places. My father went in St. Mary. Now my father used to do agricultural in India, and know the banana tree, how, how to plant and all them things there. So they like him because he know the routines, yeah. and he did well. After that, in 1920 or 1920, some came to Kingston Pen. They call the place Kingston Pen because I would find Indian live there. You know what I mean? He went to school in Kingston for a short while. Uh, my father never had no money to send me to high school, yeah. so I went. Uh, to learn trade. And how I get a trade? There was a gentleman, Dr. Varma, he was the president of the East Indian Association mm -hmm. because they, these people then form a, a, a society. Mm -hmm. And we have most big people who, who understand, yeah. they start to cooperate mm -hmm. with the Indians. Them. He got married and had eight children of his own. You, you never wished to go back to India and visit there? Well, what, now, now you are 93. What really happened, yeah. I have relative go to India, yeah. and they invited me. Mm -hmm. But because of my work, I yeah. have eight children. What were you doing, actually, in your young I'm a time? machinist. Oh, OK. You understand? OK. I went to work 1944. Mm. And I, the place closed at 207. Mm. One place I work, right through. Mm. While sharing photographs, the retired machinist who worked at KIG for over 50 years took great care to pass on the knowledge of his parents' homeland, India, their cultural mores, values, and the contribution of the Indian community to Jamaica's development. A life story of yeah. Indian yeah. in general. Yeah. What they used to do in India passed on to me. Okay. You understand? The inclusion of the East Indians into Jamaica would enrich and expand the local tapestry. They were the first to successfully grow rice in Jamaica, establishing the island's first successful rice mill in the 1890s. They continue to influence the fields of medicine, agriculture, manufacturing, in-bond businesses, and sports. They introduced a range of spices, including curry powder, to Jamaican cuisine. Traditional Indian foods like curry goat, curried potatoes, eggplant, butter chicken, and roti have been steeped and infused into the national cuisine. My mother is cooked dal. Tarkari, Irish potato, which is hollow, string bean, long peas, generally these things. Mr. Ragby still has intricately woven Indian jewelry designs and bangles made from silver belonging to his mother. He and his family enjoy the distinctive music, dance, and traditional dress which they have incorporated in their everyday lifestyle. 
They also observe traditional Indian religious and cultural celebrations like Diwali, which celebrates a victory of good over evil. The Indian society, they have uh, at their home, they have these Kata Sushpurani at their home, and uh, they read the books and explain to the younger generation as well as the older generation too. In his seniority, Mr. Ragbeef has become a guardian of a distinct cultural ancestry, a steward that embodies the national motto, out of many, one people. For the news on PBCJ, I'm Carol Francis.